What's up guys, I'm Frenzy. Today we'll be doing viewer castles again. Uh, we will be starting out with Para Iso, Para Iso, something like that. Um, castle level 16. So he has a reasonable amount um, available to him. Again, with a lot of people being right on the verge of Hunker Boss level 4. Um, I don't think he quite has it. Oh, so he has definitely an interesting setup already, I can see. Mittens, I mean, I've done a farm castle with all mittens that are over my level, so that's questionable. Um, I haven't really found uses for these battering rams. I've tried to use them here and there, um, but it seems like they're always kind of overshadowed by Cyclopses with the charge like you had there. Um... I don't know, I'm not a fan of Mittens as just a unit in general. I think he's probably the worst elite that's out right now. You know, like, you get the same effect. I guess you don't get the same effect with a bad dog because they howl, like, randomly. Um, but you... They're a lot of supply just for their howl. Like, they don't do any damage really by themselves. So, I mean, that was just kind of a good setup. Everybody's been using that lately. Um, good positioning, you know, I couldn't see what was coming, but a lot of people just assume that there's going to be a Stairmaster pull on those type of rooms nowadays. Okay, archers from everywhere, I like that. The thing is, the thing that I don't like about this is, you kind of notice what I did there. It's like I saw the Cyclops and I knew he was going to charge at me, so I just kind of aggroed him and pulled back around here, which actually mo made most of your archer shots hit. The reason that I don't really like that is because of the room setup. Um, you know, these pillars make it really easy to dodge against archers. So I might suggest, like, using a different room for this sort of thing. Pretty much any open room except for this one is good for archers. Alright, so we have the Robo Shieldatron with a Cyclops. I think that's kind of okay. I would almost prefer the Cyclops to be on like an overhead smash or a three punch smash just because as you're dealing with a Robo Shieldatron you want him to do damage. Um, but you have the charge set up like earlier in your dungeon so I mean I guess it's okay. Alright so you have Let's see what specialization the uh, Dr. Skull is on. Okay, so he's on the Resurrect. So as long as this is still working for you, I'd say keep doing it. You know, people are obviously starting to get good AoEs at your level. And I'm assuming that it's not working amazingly for you at this point. But if it's still buying enough time, if they're taking over a minute in this room, I would say it's fine. Okay, so we have a couple Smelly Archers and Zeeks. Um, like, the only thing I can already say about this is I can see the setup pretty easily. So as an Archer, I can just kind of launch a volley and then roll back around this, and they won't really do any damage whatsoever to me. You know, everything just dies. So, I'm not sure if you could... I mean, I know you're, you're like, tight on supply using Zeke and stuff, but I would really, I like, would like a Snotter or something up in here to kind of have Aggro Circle on both paths or something. Maybe you could throw in an Enrager Puppeteer or something. So I aggroed two groups there, um, trying to avoid that. That's that's kind of good. Like, I don't know if many people would have done just what I did there. They probably would have just started fighting. I'm playing a little bit less cautious. Um, but there's always that, like, opportunity, I guess, that with, the, with this mousetrap, you kind of want to just hug the side pretty easily. So if I hug the side and go up this way, by the time I get out of it, I've aggroed another circle. And if I go through it, then I then you have the Cyclops stun kind of lined up for that. Um, besides that, I mean, there's not much to say about this room. It's not bad, I don't think. Okay, I mean, the bad dog is kind of weird. You have two bad dogs off to the side. I'm not sure if you know what bad dogs actually do, but they don't. Their, their howl is pretty small, and they only affect things that are right around them. So, like, having them like this, you know, they don't do much damage. If I could, like, get just this bad dog alive, I could show you how little damage they actually do. 10 damage, 
12 damage, and then it died just because of my like reflect, reflect damage. Um, they only have a super low amount of hit points, and they only do very minimal damage. So you'd only want one of those in a group ever, and then you would also want them to be close to other minions, so that if they get killed, they enrage everything else. Um, I think that an enrager puppeteer would probably work better for you, just because you have archers here, and the bad dog isn't going to do anything. Okay, and then you actually have a Jimbo, and I like this. Um, the only problem with Jimbo currently is that his overhead swing takes so long that you can almost always dodge out of the way. However, you guys notice he'd hit me with, for 500 damage. Like, Jimbo is no joke if he actually hits you with this overhead strike. The thing is, you can kind of dodge out of the way um, pretty much all the time. And that's the only issue, really, with Jimbo these days. Like, I've seen him crit for an insane amount of damage. Like, upwards in the two 3,000 range at the higher levels. But the problem is that he just doesn't hit you. So. I don't know. Like, Jimbo is... He would be a really good unit if he actually hit ever. It, like, people who know how to handle Jimbo is, aren't really going to take much damage from them. Maybe one or two shots, but I don't know. I might, you know, switch around Jimbo for a Pete Poundmore or something like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, pretty good castle. We'll move on to number two. All right, number two here is Donover. He is castle level 17, defense rating 215. So he has uh, Hungerbots level 4 should be available to him at this point. So he should pretty much have everything he needs to set up good traps. Alright, so I mean, I'm already noticing that I have vision of things. Um, just because the castle is, you know, pointed upwards. We'll see if it turns around here in a second. Okay, so he pulled from a very far distance. I mean, that was probably at like almost the max range there. A lot of people would have just kept going and probably started attacking this. I almost think that this fire trap should be moved up more towards this way, although I don't know if you can because of this. Like, I know you have a trap right here. But what I'm thinking is that, like, I was back here, right, and I attacked that, and I wanted to stay down here because I don't want to go through the trap. Like, an experienced player thinks that way, right? And then, like, if I'm up here, and maybe... I don't know, it probably works almost the same way. But if I see these... These, uh, these guys here, I almost think that when I shoot this squidly, that I'm aggroing this group, so I want to like run in and try to DPS this down as quickly as possible, so the Zeke doesn't get its damage off. Other than that, um, I mean the Zeke is good. A lot of people have been saying on Zeke, um, this, this attack is better than Headshot. I'm not going to really deny it because I haven't messed around with Zeke nearly enough. I do feel like it's a little bit easier to dodge this, but, I mean, that's just me, I guess. I think headshots are just a little bit quicker and harder to dodge, but if it's working for you, I'd say keep using it. I haven't used Zeke nearly enough to really comment on it, so... Alright, so this aggro's both snotters, so I know that's not like a double pull in two different areas. Looks like just like a lot of snotters in general. I think this actually pulled something else. Yeah, I really like your your use of double pulls here. Um, it's hard to know exactly what I'm pulling and what I'm not. And that was kind of a miss skill. I wanted to use Caltrops instead, but yeah, I like that. I almost think that... With, like, if someone aggros both of these groups, that a um, Dr. Skull on heal might be less effective as, like, one with AoE Resurrect. But, I mean, that's just, I guess, personal preference. Like, I, I don't really like Resurrect to begin with anyway, so I'm okay with heal. I just think you have so many lower level mobs in here that maybe if you, like, buffed up the hit points a little bit so that you're actually taking effect of that heal might be a bit better. Okay, I mean, I see everything. Um, if I had mana, I could just use Volley here, and it would kill pretty much all of these Stairmasters before they get up to me. 
I can also, I don't know, I don't like this kind of setup here because I'm able to like isolate things just by like juking around and these guys are never going to hit me now. Um, I think it's maybe a better setup to have down this tunnel or something like that. I like the fact that people are trying to use these type of poles in different rooms though because everybody's been using that corner outside open area and it's being becoming so predictable to have stairmaster poles in that room that like I'm I'm about to start experimenting as well because I think that there has to be other good rooms for it and right now that same room everybody's using it's just becoming way too predictable okay so skeleton warriors and a bunch of smelly archers I'm okay with this the only thing I would say is you have the smelly archer so far up that you have people that are going to be like attacking it from around a corner and that won't allow your smelly archers to get like lined up shots. I'm wondering if you would be better, you know, back in here a little bit more so that you're starting to enter the room and maybe a knight or something like pulls him to himself and starts attacking him right here and then the uh, smelly archer shots come from across the screen and catch him off guard a little bit more. Okay, so uh, this is like in kind of an, a good place, but at the same time, this trap is so close to the hallway that I see it before I'm coming in. That being said, like I could see this hitting someone who's less prepared for it. I'm just going to heal up and see what it actually does. And then it pushes me backwards. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think about this a little bit because I feel like the Cyclops pushing me backwards doesn't really accomplish a lot. And you have two archers here. I'd almost like it if you could set up maybe the Cyclops to push me into the wall over here so that you have archers shooting me from like different angles and I have to pick a side to go to to fight and then the other archers are just going to keep on getting shots. Other than that, if you could maybe move the trap slightly down a little bit more, it might be a little bit better for you. But I don't know if you can actually like fit that to make it work properly. Oh, this is going to be nice. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like the way that this is set up quite a bit, actually. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I can explain a little bit more of why it's good as well. It's just the vision that you're giving to the person is so good. And the Scorpio... Like, the Scorpio being here as the way that you're pulling it into... You'll notice what happened is I rushed into the room and I just kind of dodged downwards. And the Scorpio still hit me, hit me with his bottom hook. So that's pretty good. A lot of people might do that sort of thing to try to get out of the way if they've came like too far into the room. That's what basically happened here. Is like I came into the room and I came a little bit too far and I saw the Scorpio hook coming up. So I was like, oh, let me dodge downwards. But then the other Scorpio hook ended up hitting me anyway. Um, you had a secondary... You had a secondary... Hungerbot here. I don't know if it was necessary or not. I didn't really see how it was actually like designed to work. Um, but if you don't need that, I would say replace it with like a, a an archer or something that's going to do a little bit more damage. Other than that, I like the I, I like the whole idea that you had here. Like I like this room specifically for an entry point. I think this is pretty good. Like I almost want to steal this. Like this is what a linear corridor and you're using the linear corridor into the boss room. Like, I really like the angle that this hook is coming from. One of the best that I've seen, just you have almost no time to react. Like, I wasn't trying to get hit by that, but I got hit by it anyway, which is pretty good. Obviously, I was being a little bit quick about how, like, how quickly I was going through his dungeon, but nonetheless, like, I like that entry point quite a bit. Alright, so we'll jump into number three in just a second here. Alright, and for number three we have Nidus, and he's promised me that he hasn't been influenced by my castle at all, he's a fairly new viewer, and uh, 
So we're going to go into it. He's got he's a castle level 17 with 215 defense supply. So I'm pretty excited to see some new ideas. Obviously, I think I'm going to be seeing like some of the same things because there's not like a ton of options available to people right now. I think there's still some changes they need to make for creatures. Okay, so you need to um you need to like tweak around with this bone puppeteer. He's really hard to make use. He's kind of buggy in my opinion right now. And uh, he ended up enraging your snotter, which was like the first thing to see me. And that's generally how he's been working lately. The thing that I've found that is like the only way to make him work kind of is to kind of put him out of range of the snotter and like back behind here. And then hopefully the snotter will die before he gets like his command to enrage it, and then he goes to enrage the next closest thing, which is your archers. Um, other than that, I'm not sure about like the hunger bot pull, it's kind of weird. I guess your purpose for that was because your snotter's here. I see the snotter, which I didn't, and I attack him, and then I pull back. And so the hunger bot is designed to come around the corner and pull you back through this mousetrap. I'm guessing that's how it was supposed to work. Um, so I mean, it's not a bad idea. I, I kind of like it. I would just say mess around with that Enrager Puppeteer and try to see if you can make him work on enraging the correct monsters every time. Okay, so I see this peep out more from pretty far away. Um, what do you have with it? Okay, an Enrager. And it looks like that would have probably worked correctly, although I'm not sure if I approach the other way. I think how Bone Puppeteers are working right now is they summon their skeletons and then they go to enrage the first thing that saw the hero, whatever initiated combat, they try to um, enrage that. And if they can't, and it dies beforehand or something like that, um, they'll enrage the next closest thing. I believe that's how it works. Okay, so you have this to bash me back into the fire trap. That's nice. Oh, and the archers. I like that. A nice wide open room to make use of archers, archers range. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Okay, so I see this from pretty far away. Um, I'm not sure what you could do to change it. If you can move this trap back a little bit, maybe. Um, make me get aggroed a little bit sooner. I mean, all in all, I don't think this is, like, going to... I mean, from way back here, you notice that there's a trap on the floor. So everybody should be prepared for this. And with Archer OP, you can kind of just pull it from super far back. So I would, like, look at this and see what you can do with it. I don't think there's any different, like, positions you can make it to deny vision more so. I just think maybe it's not the best room for it. And this is probably just gonna throw me into the other group. Okay, and into a Jimbo. I like the Jimbo at the end. I, I've been, like, thinking about this for a while. Is one of my previous castles that I just did, um, somebody had a Jimbo and I was showing you how you could avoid his strikes over and over and over again. But with this, like, mini stun off the end, and I'm laying here, and then the Jimbo comes down and hits me. I really like that quite a bit, and it's like a free 500 damage, which is pretty good. It's like a pretty substantial amount. Um, the problem is with the stun changes coming up, if you can't, like, kill someone off of just having this, it might be, like, useless. Like, the idea I used to have is, with these longer pull combos, always having a Jimbo just come right down on your head every time, um, and almost just insta-killing someone who gets caught by it. And I think maybe the only way that to do that after the patch will be with Stairmasters, but we'll have to see. Okay, so if I try to sneak by this, I aggro this Snotter. And this is just kind of a time waster. I like how... Okay, and I actually accidentally hold this group. Um, what I'm thinking here, though... And correct me, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I could have skipped this group had I just killed this initial one and then kind of ran by here. I would say, like, make sure, because I think your units were so far back that I could have just skipped it. Um, and also this jelly wall, I believe it'll get more effective um, after the patch. They're changing it so you can't just squeeze by here. But I mean, the jelly wall doesn't do all that much as it is right now. You can kind of just walk around it. So maybe change that up until the patch hits, or just wait until the patch hits. It should be the next couple of days, I'm hoping. I'm really waiting to uh, upgrade all my creatures until then, but... I'm starting to get impatient, so I might just do it soon. So I'm like imagining a Stairmaster pull. And you can already kind of see the Stairmasters from here. I would say maybe move this derp up a little bit so I don't have vision of that quite a bit, quite yet. 
um, because I can just kind of throw a volley down here because I see everything and then pull back around the corner and everything should be dead. So yeah, I would say either move things back, which I don't think you can do, or bring up the derp. Another thing that you can do that I uh, use in my castle is you can put a mouse trap right here, which makes it so that when you go through, like after you, even though you see everything, as long as the aggro circle is far up enough, um, you don't have a reliable escape path back around the corner. Something with either a fire trap or a mouse trap to make it so that they take damage if they pull back around the corner. To punish them, kind of. Okay, so I see how that's supposed to work. It looks like you might, yeah, you don't have hunger bots level uh, level 4. I'd say, like, work on those, because you should be right at that, like, area where you get them. You should be really, really close. Like, maybe it's just a research lab upgrade, or maybe you have to go one more portal upgrade after that. But basically the idea is I get pulled into the jelly wall, and then you have smelly warrior, a couple archers. I think it's okay. I'll definitely be doing more experimenting with different traps after the patch hits. <clears throat> okay, now this is interesting. Let me take a look and see what we have here. So we have a hunger bot. I'm not sure the purpose of the hunger bot. That's like the first thing that I'm just kind of looking at. And then we have the Zeke Scorpio. I like like the Zeke Scorpio Defendatron Bone Puppeteer combo. Like it's a pretty neat combo. I kind of can see how it might work. I guess the purpose of the hunger bot is just to like pull you in and help the Scorpio to push you back away. I don't know. I I'm indifferent about the the hunger bot. I like the Scorpio and I like the fact that it's on the push you away because you're trying to get in and kill that Zeke but the Scorpio will just keep pushing you back. So I think that's pretty good. But I don't, I'm not sure about the Hunger Bot. Maybe change that to another Smelly Archer or something. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. That's a pretty neat castle. It's definitely different from my design, I, I'll give you that. And uh, there's not too many problems with it. It should be working. Just, you know, rush up to that Hunger Bot level 4. It's a pretty big upgrade. Um, so that does it for... Um, this episode, um, if you guys enjoy what I do, um, and you want to help me out, you know, click that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, and, uh, leave a like. Um, if you want to be a part of Viewer Castles, if you want me to do your, your castle, um, there's three ways to contact me. The first is leave a comment in one of the videos, um, about Viewer Castles. Uh, the second would be attack my castle and leave a comment. And the third would be email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com. Um, leave your in-game name, you know, castle level or summoner level helps. Just, like, the summoner level and the castle level is basically to help me figure out where you're at in the game, right? If I just jump into your castle, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what upgrades you have and stuff like that, so it's harder for me to talk about it. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.